Well, what up? Welcome back to Top Tier Arcade. My name is Steve, and we're back in the spare bedroom where we're housing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pinball machine. And in this video, it's going to be the part eight and final part, finally, of the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles restore. It's been uh, more than a year since I've uh, originally got it. And now, <clears throat> with the help of Drano and the uh, help of my guys and uh, myself, I've been uh, working on it, buying a lot for it, but really storing it back to even better than what it was when it first came out. Color DMD, LEDs, da da da. So a new play field. So it's ready, it's done. I've been having fun playing it. And now uh, we've come to it at last where I'm going to touch things up, uh, add new toys. That's gonna be the main focus for this. It's fun. My wife's like, oh cool, you're gonna add new ones. I wanna make sure they fit because the new toys are a little bigger than the originals. Um, I know a lot of you will be like, no, Steve, why are you going to get rid of the original toys? You know, it's not the same. The new ones are way better. They look more current. They're more vibrant. They have their own personality. And they're actually from the movie, which is what the pin is uh, based out of, that in the cartoon. Especially the back glass. So they look more current. They look a lot cooler. They have their weapons. That's the main thing. And it looks really neat. And um, again, I'm going to be uh, putting on the front decal. I'll show you that. Um, I've made it myself, and then I'm also going to be, um, you know, adding new balls, like new leg levelers. Again, in theory, I have one or two more things to do after this video. Like I said, you know, the pinball topper and the lit buttons, but I'm going to have that ready, and I should, by when I release the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Pinball Official Part 2, which is the cabinet, which is everything, going around it, the new, the old, the old and new. I know it's redundant, but it's just part of my series. So let's get to it. I've already taken too much of your time. Let me show you what I'm dealing with in a sec. I got a new uh, little drill, which is going to help us drill in and uh, for our future projects and uh, what we're dealing with and what we're going to do. All right, first things first. So here is the, uh, here's the little drill I got. It's a little power, shoot. A little power drill comes a little holster. For uh, everyone that's Canadian or have been here, you know this is from Canadian Tire, which is like an Ace Hardware or like a Lowe's, I guess. Um, again, I have kind of small hands, so you can tell this is actually very small. Um, it's, it has a light as well, and this is just for, again, drilling in those, um, you know, little screws. It was uh, Canadian money. It was $35. I think it was, yeah, it was like $35. It was pretty cheap. So I'm like, you know what? It was on sale, half price, done. So that's going to help us moving forward. Uh, that's the list of things left. Now it looks like a lot, but you know, one of them is buying a keychain. So I have a weird list of things, you know, just to make it complete. Uh, but anyway, so the glass is off. I just have this towel here because um, I didn't want to go through it and the lockdown bar is there. Uh, so here's the, here's the toys that I'm going to be working with. Uh, there's the screws. I may change them, but here's the Michelangelo. You know, it looks a lot newer. He has his nunchuck. Here's the Leonardo. He has his um, his swords. This shredder is from the original 91 series, but I like this one more than the new one, so I'm going to keep this shredder. So that's cool. Uh, this is April. Again, that's from the original series with her accessories. Casey Jones, original series and accessories. I used to have that toy when I was younger. My parents trashed it. Uh, Raphael with a smirk, you know, with his two sides. And then Donatello with his bow. And then this is Mylar I'm going to actually put under the captive ball. Uh, here's a foot soldier with uh, some uh, weapons. I'm going to keep the sword to match the back glass. And then here's Splinter. And then with the accessories, I might just use this because, again, like the back glass, he has a bow. I know that, you know, Don, that's Donatello's bow, but it doesn't matter. I want to uh, want to use this. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe the, I don't know, whatever. So that's going to be the big endeavor for today. And then little things like, again, put it on Mylar. It's going to take two seconds and start to really get this list uh, back down to size. So I'm going to, um, I'll come back when I'm ready to, like, I'll show you a quick play field, what it looks like before and after and the progress of it. I hope it goes well. Again, these toys are a bit, bit bigger. Uh, we'll say this is like this toy and then the, the old one's like here. So it's maybe around an inch smaller, maybe half an inch. So... Hopefully they fit. I'm going to try my best. I really want them. I like the new ones better than the old ones. They have a little personality. Like I said, they really match, you know, what the, uh, the you know, what the back looks like and, uh, and also in the front. So I'll be back with you and uh, we'll see how we're going now. This might be, again, like my other ones, um, a few days apart. So if I say I'll see you tomorrow, I'm going to just continue it in the video. But again, I want this done. I want it done. It's getting annoying. I want to get it over with. So... 
let's uh, I'll be back with you uh, when I start to populate the playfield with these new toys all right really quick before I get started on uh, repopulating I'm going to be um, giving you a quick game plan for myself as well so here's what I see Michelangelo's there I want to replace him with a new one Raphael those two don't look problematic based on the height Leonardo I've tried already very briefly and I'm a little concerned and then Donatello because I want to here's what I was thinking really quick here's um, Leonardo and there's Leonardo and then like the plastics will match Michelangelo I know that's it's the only broken plastic Michelangelo Michelangelo Raphael Raphael uh, Leonardo Leonardo but Donatello's here actually I want to move Donatello here like on this like right here and then maybe move a foot soldier there because he's very small and then have splinter and shredder maybe around here because it shows there or and then have Casey Jones here because Casey Jones that's his uh, that's his uh, plastic now that's convenient because it's very low so I know I can fit definitely Casey Jones here I was also thinking of maybe putting splinter there uh, just because there's more room, and so I'll just uh, uh, glue that. Maybe put Casey Jones in front here, and then Splinter. So uh, we'll see. You know, because you know, because I know I'm going to be running out of room. I don't want to overcrowd it. There is a possibility that I may not use all of them if it's overcrowding, but I really want to because all the figures other than Casey Jones uh, meet the back glass. Yeah, I just took it out in case. So that's the game plan again. Um, I'm going to just be unscrewing. They just come. Came in screwed in from the factory there, gonna screw them out um, and then see what we can do because it should be an actual pretty easy process. Just screw it in the hands and then boo bam and we're done. But again, I also don't wanna make sure, I wanna make sure I don't block any of the play field so you can see it and it's not covering any lights or, you know, it just looks good. It doesn't look um, like too much. I mean, the well, again, worst, worst case scenario, I can just put on the original turtles, but I, can't, I really wanna use the other stuff for fun. It's just to really, uh, um, even out the play field and just add a little more to it. Uh, so anyways, I'll be back just to give you a, that's the game plan and um, I'll be back to give you an update of what it's like. All right, it's been, a, been an hour or so and uh, I'm actually very excited about the, uh, the improvement of the upgrade. Let me get in here. So I've just done the four turtles. Uh, there's Michelangelo there. As you can tell, actually there's his, uh, um, he has his nunchucks. It's uh, you know, he's, he looks different, he smiles different. There's Raphael with the size. There's Leonardo. And then there's Donatello. Now, this one was a little tough to get in, but it actually fit out pretty well. Again, he's beside his, um, his I guess he's on the play field, the decal there. And then as they are. So I actually like him there. It looks kind of cool. So far, the ball does not interfere. I've done a little test, uh, just a hand test. I'm going to do a play test in a moment. Make sure nothing interferes. Um, I think it looks really upgraded, really cool, modern, current, cool. All right, all right. So things are messy again, but so worth it. Old turtles, parts, and here we go. Now, this is not going to be my permanent keychain, but Mike um, Juan gave me this. Uh, and he goes, take it. So I'm going to defer now just for fun. So I've changed all the toys. I added all the toys. They're down. They're tight. I play tasted it for half an hour, nothing interferes. Ready? I don't think you've, anyone's ever done it like this. Ready? Boom. Shredder. Hanging out in the truck, like on the, in the plunger. Yo, what's up? He has a weapon. Foot soldier to match the, uh, the plastic there. He's chilling. Yo. Leonardo's like, yo, what the hell is going on? Um, April's there on the mic. Michelangelo's chilling. Donatello's, Donatello's just hanging out. Raphael's right there. Boom, splinter right there. And then it matched the plastic um, Casey Jones. So Casey Jones plastic match. Splinter, splinter, close enough. Raphael, Raphael, Michelangelo, Michelangelo. Um, April, there. Leonardo, there. Uh, foot soldier there. Damn, yeah, it would have been cool if I put can put shredder, but I played around with it. It just doesn't fit. But uh, yeah, he's coming to get you. So, anyways, yeah, shredder there. Good enough. <laughs> now I don't have the black uh, back glass on, 
uh, yet because I was just place testing and I still have to put the glass on. Let me show you what it looks like. Oh, what else I've done really quick, I put the mylar where that captive ball is so because it always gets wear and it's always there. So that protects you for future, uh, future play. So mylar is on, under there. I've spaced out, you see the ramp? I added those two spacers, now I found out where those parts went. Good thing I kept them. Because rifling that ball up there really quick, when it comes down the flipper and boom up there, sometimes it would reject back. Those spa spacers give it clearance and I've played it like butter. It goes up there, there's no denial, the shots feel smooth, everything feels beautiful. Uh, only little thing is interesting is these rubbers, these new ones, very weak. Look, these are already chewing apart. I've only had it for a few months. Mind you, I've been testing like crazy, blah, 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 and they're dirtier because my hands and I'm a little, um, uh, a little silly not um, <clears throat> cleaning my hands there. But again, I can just rub that off. But I do have from my old um, plastics that are still good if I have to do that. So not a big deal. That's two seconds. I just take that off anyways. But uh, nothing's really permanent, which is good. I've done it so if I had to take them off for whatever reason, they will work. They look great. Uh, what else did I do? Uh, that's that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the front decal on. And I'm going to uh, put the new casters. And I'm going to put the new balls in. And that's it for now because there's a few things I have yet to do. Like, again, the toppers that I'm going to do later on, which I'll explain. So I'll be back and I'll just, um, and I'll put on the front deckle and show you what it looks like. And this is the one I made. So it's going to go right there. And I'm going to clever, clever, cover it in clear tape because I, I, it's just a sticker now. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, people are going to have their dirty hands. They're going to be like on here. If I have like kids playing it, they're going to be open the door and it's going to be smudged. So I'm going to cover it with clear tape so it's not uh, so I can get it can be uh, preserved for later on so I'll be back and I'll show you okay now I never covered it in the tape like I said because it was uh, getting wrinkled but here's the finished product what do you guys think that matches the back damn backlash not here but that matches the movie you know you remember the poster the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the early 90s the, the actual like really good one uh, that's the the bottom of the just turtles I made my own sticker if you guys need the file, let me know. I have it. But uh, I think it looks actually really neat. It's the only one I've seen like this, and it was $4. And I have three of them. So I have two just in case, of course. And if you need the file, it's on me, and I'll tell you what uh, dimensions or what to print it on. Very easy, a couple of bucks, and it looks cool. And again, $4. If I don't like it, I'll take it off. But I really like it. It looks neat, and it's staying. So front deck all done. Custom, only one I've seen, looks real, looks cool, kind of blends in too, and it fits the game. So again, and it's all the turtles, Michelangelo, Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and they're right there as well saying, yo, what's up? So that's done, it looks cool, looks, it's easy, tight, looks great, happy with that, so it looks neat. Little, uh, <coughs> little finish touch, so now I'm going to put the new casters on. Um, under here, I have a tennis ball. <laughs> Because that one was scraping the floor. Look, look. Can you guys see that? Yeah, yeah, see that? Bad news. I'll buff that out. That's no problem. But yeah, I, I wanted to move easily because it's it, like it goes chit, 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 like it skits because of this. So I'm going to uh, change the casters that I got from Marcos. Actually, it's right here. You all know what casters are, but I'll show you really quick. So I'm going to put the new ones on um, and uh, make sure everything works. So I'll be back with the new casters on. I'll put the new balls in, we'll turn it on, and we're done for this part. Again, I have to still add, again, I'll, I'll tell you what I need, little things, I just don't have the tools, or it's so little details, I can do everything within the hour, and it's not requiring a video, I'll do it in my uh, part two cabinet. I'll be back, and I'll show you the new uh, casters, the new balls, and uh, we should be done. We're good. New casters, I may have to level it, but I don't have a leveler, and that's part of my to-do list. But I pretty much eyeballed it and used my thumb to do it. Looks pretty level. New casters, new bowls. I wiped down the plastics, like I just wiped them off. And the uh, flippers, because they're getting a little dirty. Uh, and that's it. So, from top, again, let me walk you through what we have to do. It's 90% done, but I'm going to consider it this the final episode of the restore because now it's pretty much because look I mean they're there I just have to plug in I have to get the new um, 
<sighs> then you socket in the new bulb and then boom, like that's the, the wiring's already there. I just have to hook it up. Uh, only little thing that I may have to do that's going to be a little longer is the lip buttons, uh, green, and then with new buttons and uh, add the black mesh. So add the black mesh. I need a staple gun, five minutes if that. Do that. Uh, we'll say 100 percent, 25 half an hour max max. And then this will take probably about an hour or so, depending on how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to consider it done. The rest are details. <clears throat> um, that's all I have. Other than that, uh, and then later I'm going to I have to do uh, the button battery because then right now it has the. Uh, like the actual battery on the board, but that's not going to mean until I move out because I don't have again the proper workspace And I want to make sure I have all the tools to do so but guys look topper done back glass all lit up beautiful lit speakers Green Ellie. I'm gonna go through this in the you know in the part two uh, the cabinet and uh, there's all the toys. I know the reflections brutal It'd be nice if I had PDI glass, but it's expensive, especially for a game like this. But either way, uh, silly, but there's the, um, there's the keychain for now, but again, and then there's the cabinet uh, front decal. So I'm going to consider this a wrap. Let me say you off in, uh, in proper manner. This was, again, part nine. That's right. This was part nine, and what a part it was. Let me set you up and officially uh, set you off. Alright guys, there you have it. That was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Restore Part 9. The final part. What a wrap. Like I said just now, 90% done. I mean, we're done, but these little details I want to make sure. Um, I'm gonna, I'll, I should be done based on my shooting schedule. I know it's not like I'm important. <laughs> based on my shooting schedule that I have right in front of me that's coming out. Um, by the time part two comes out and then three, four, five, I will have it done in less unforeseen circumstances. But guys, look, whom I have to thank, first of all, from the buyer I got it from, to my friend helping me pick it up, Bessian, from Adriano that took me under his wing and said, Steve, you're going to be okay. You're in my corner. I got you. This is your first pin. It's your grail pin or one of my four this is definitely was number one or two uh that in lord of the rings at the very beginning but i'll get into that later and um, i'm very happy to do it it's my first uh day to east he did it beautifully adriano i've thanked you a thousand times over and i am this is a thousand and one i thank you um to ed robertson that gave me the coin bucket coin bucket for everybody else that helped me uh, tweak things and it might sound a little selfish but a big proud and thank you to my own self I know it sounds weird coming from myself but remember a year ago me helping restore one of my own games was impossible it was not doable it was intimidating it was difficult it wasn't me I had trouble with the arcade things I was learning that I'm still learning but I'm better this has helped me out, and since the beginning, since me tr pulling it apart, taking that, uh, taking that jump and the plunge, plucking up the courage to just say the hell thing and go, Adriano helped me out, me putting it back together, you know, me being there through my brother's funeral, through my godmother's funeral, through, you know, going through online and checking, ordering the parts, getting which ones, ordering my list, getting shorter and shorter. I had seven, not that many, I had around 50 things to do on the game. That includes cleaning, a keychain, little things. But also includes getting new plastics, melt, um, putting them in the oven, touching up the play field draino, put, getting you everything, rubbers, screws. Look, I don't want to get into it so much. I'm so happy this is done. Again, with an asterisk, but whatever. It plays well. It's fun, it's beautiful, it looks more current with the color DMD and the lit speakers and the lit topper and the LEDs and the new artwork and da da da. And Turtles is back. I mean, whether it's kids or adult movies, it's or not adult movies, but uh, movies for a more like a, a teen or tween or um, older audience. I'm very happy. I'm very proud of it. I really am. 
I'm relieved. My wife's relieved. Um, I'm, I'm so happy. Like, I'm happy it's done-ish. But whatever, I'm going to consider it done. Look, guys, look, it's been a pleasure. If you've uh, been here from part one, from part one of the pickup, part one to nine of the restore, including this, Part two is going to be the full cabinet. I'm going to go in and out, show you the updates, whatever you just spoke about. Part three is going to be the gameplay. I'm going to walk you through it. It's going to be my first official. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I did Hobbit. But uh, my game review is going to be um, my uh, second. I'm going to go through again. It's you know lesser known. Then I'm going to have the memories of the game, which isn't a lot. But again, there's more to it from when I started at the beginning in 2012. And me writing a list of what games will include in my arcade. And then two years later being officially top tier arcade and now hopefully going to move out within a year-ish or so and actually create an environment in a real arcade in my basement and create top tier. Um, and then finally the gameplay which should be uh, fun and easy. I got Super Sprint Part 3, 4, 5 coming. Now we can work on The Hobbit. Not a restore, but it's going to be modding in. I, I guess I'm going to call it just the, the, the mod series, part one and one and two, it should be. I'm going to go through that. That's coming up. Super Sprint's coming up. Turtles is coming up. I finished that off. It's been kind of tiresome. Um, on the road videos and the top tier on tour. Um, what else? Gameplay with uh, other games I have. And um, other things coming up, but I'm not sure if it's going to come to fruition. But maybe even another pickup by the time. Who knows? Anyways, look. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit that like button, the ring bell. You want me to uh, notify you when I come out. Um, if, if you're a fan of Ninja Turtles, you're a fan of Pin, you want to see a restore, you want to see what it looks like from beginning to end, check it out. A lot of hours in the game. Um, if you're a fan of video games in arcade, hit me up. Let me know if there's any questions, comments. Guys, it's been a pleasure. I thank you so much for checking out Top Tier, taking the time to hear me out, to go through this journey, which has been tiresome, annoying, tedious, but rewarding. I have calluses on my hands from screwing and little things like that. And I thank you for checking out Top Tier. Peace. Cowabunga. Done. <laughs>